hello friends in this lecture we will see how to create this bracket with the help of surfacing so let's see uh, the views so here we have one top view and next view is cc and bb so this is the aa section which is from the middle one so this elliptical is a cross section and again bb is this section and c C1 is this so that we can define this dimension okay 17.5 and 10 is this okay and uh, here again 10 this cross section is at DD and at the last it is 45 okay and the length has some here so I'm going to start with this top view okay select this sketcher and my top plane is this and I am going to start with the center and the dimensions are 300 and 200 and this is 0 ok and ok so my first sketch is this and again I am going to use this ellipse but this time here this cross section is AA so AA is 7 and 10 so 10 and 7 and rotate it at 90 ok and this gap is 200 which is correct and align this with this horizontal axis and finish and I am going to use swept command so here in insert sweep we have this style sweep with one guide curve so my cross section is this and the guide is this so it will create this solid okay and now for next one I'm going to start with this okay. and wireframe and here we have the curve so I am going to start with this it is here click and in line okay and this gap this gap is where it is this gap is CC or BB so take a look at BB see this is the BB section and this is AA this is 40 okay outer to outer is 40 and reduce this 10 5 from upper one and 5 from upper 5 from lower one so center to center is 30 and half of 30 is 50 <coughs> and close this is tangent and uh, drag it this line is not vertical so click it and make it vertical like horizontal and the gap is 250 so click here from here to this point is 50 oops okay there is some problem so exit and I'm going to change it and here the dimension of this ellipse is half of 300 okay it is a radius and 100 and okay close and double click change this value to 100 close exit and see okay and now I'm going to change this and drag it okay so this is 250 it is accurate and this radius is here it is 200 but here 150 I'm going to take it 150 because 200 is beyond the limit see if we are taking this so the gap will not come so I'm taking it 150 or 160 okay so let's see 160 okay and if we take 150 so like this so I'm taking 150 160 no problem and finish it and select a new datum plane from here to this point okay now I'm going to create a section here so that I can use any option here so ellipse 
at this point and the dimension is 17.5 and 10 so 5 and 17.5 divided by 2 okay this is cc okay the cc section is this and 98 is okay now finish and I'm going to use the same option okay which is the style sweep so style sweep first cross section and the guide is this connected and okay now mirror it so I'm selecting this I'm going to use this mirror feature and my plane is this one okay now for next section I'm going to use this plane and my vector is this direction and click here and here we have the project well. so I'm going to project this ellipse and this ellipse okay and draw a line this is the line or we can do one thing just mirror it okay so it will be a little bit convenient to change it okay so trim and this distance is 23.5 so click and define this value as 23.5 now I'm going to trim this inner portion that's it and again new plane select this one and this will be offset from here to hit at 175 okay and click here and I'm going to create new sketch uh, new sketches in ellipse so click ellipse at this point and the dimension is 20 and half of 45 is 22.5 close now I'm going to match it with the help of this through curve so here click this is and uh, add new curve is this reverse the direction and by point I'm going to use and drag this point reset drag it drag this and rotate here on the opposite side it is okay on the opposite side drag it here a little bit more and make it sheet okay. and here I'm going to use a face and this bounded and click this and okay okay this is fill now and this is okay again I'm going to create a new plane click and the distance is 125 okay and here we have circle and the circle is 45 diameter and finish again I am going to match it this add and this reverse the direction y Okay, no problem. I'm going to change using this point and drag again. Drag, drag this here. Drag this point here. this okay 
this is a shape it is solid sorry it is it is solid so i'm going to make it in surface so change okay now it is in surface and uh, i'm going to hide all the sketches and plane and here i'm going to use this i want to fill it hide this and see this upper frame is a solid one okay I'm going to add it this and drag here so it is a solid uh, so i'm going to create a extra surface so i'm selecting this single face associate hide original and okay let's see now i'm going to trim it so here we have the trim i want to trim it from from this and preview again i want to trim it with this apply i want to trim it with this apply i want to trim it with this boundary and okay okay now hide this curve and hide this curve as well okay and section and drag it and now go to this render okay, I need the first sketch okay this one so show and I'm going to fill it and we have bounded and I want to make this curve as a bounded okay here in render we have advanced studio and here we have the materials in paint or uh, in matter I want this chrome at this and chrome on this chrome on this okay and leather large green brown here and again leather here or we can use this large green black and the scene is you can set your scene from here and now ray trace a ray trace is still sorry one material is still remaining so here in material and here in texture we have wooden steel mesh Let's see the effect. Okay, yeah. Now it is, it is proper. So, this is our tutorial. Uh, let's see in next video.